Let's see what is the relationship between production possibilities from here and constant returns to scale in this video. And again, we're going to use our PPF line in this case because it's a line and we're going to explain why it is a line when it's constant returns to scale. So what does the line tell us? It tells us that the slope is constant. The slope along the curve, any, any green dot that we're going to plot on this curve and we're going to draw the slope. So we're going to take the rise over run, right? We're going to take the rise over run over here, over there and so on, we're going to have the same slope. So the slope is constant, meaning that the MRT, MRT is constant, the change in the quantity of food relative to the change in the quantity of clothing. In other words, to produce, and by the way, let's give an example, because with examples, it's always easier to relate. Let's say this MRT is equal to two. In other words, to produce one extra unit of clothing, one extra unit of clothing, we must always give up two units of food in production. That's the intuition. Now, why is this the case? What is the relationship with the constant returns to scale here? Recall that when we have constant returns to scale, the growth in output, the growth in production is going to be the same as the growth in input. So to increase production, to move along the curve, to increase the quantity of clothes, we must increase the capital and labor in the same proportion. So if we want to produce one more unit of clothing, we must give up two units of food along the curve, no matter how much we already produce. And since we're giving up this uh, two quantities of food, so two units of food we must give up, that is the input that we are liberating, that we are freeing up to use in the production of the quantity of clothing. This is the input that we're referring to. This is the proportional increase in input that's going to give us a proportional increase in output. So since we use the capital and labor, we, this, is, this is composed of capital and labor that are used for two units of food, and we allocate this capital and labor, we allocate this capital and labor in the production of the clothing, we are getting in return one extra unit of clothing. And this happens constantly, constantly along this line aka constant returns to scale. I hope this makes sense. And to understand it even better, always contrast it with the opposite case, with the decreasing returns to scale. Recall that in decreasing returns to scale, this is not the case. In decreasing returns to scale, we saw that it becoming less and less efficient. It's harder and harder to keep producing clothing. So that's why we must give up more and more food. That's why the slopes are becoming larger and larger. But over here, over here in constant returns to scale, the relationship is going to be the same along the curve. So one extra unit of clothing means two less units of food. Two less units of food are the inputs that we need to plot in our production function to get the extra unit of clothing. And this will hold constantly for the entire PPF. That's why when we have a constant returns to scale function, we will have a linear production possibilities frontier. Hope this makes sense. And we are done.